Hey, what's up guys? This is Adrian Boysell. Today, I wanna to make a video to show you how to do some high-end retouching of a photo of somebody. You can do it for all different things. And these settings are gonna vary from photo to photo, but I want you guys to really learn something really cool, something that I've done. And I've done this in many ways over the years, but I think I've recently found the most effective way to do this and the quickest way. And there's some painting involved. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. The first piece is gonna be the setup. The second piece is gonna be the smoothing. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to do this quickly over and over and over again using action. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. You can see, I'm gonna actually load this image. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and you can see here, this is actually a pretty nice photo, but I got some stuff going on on my face. I need to get a facial. Uh, anybody knows a good person for that, send me over some details. So first thing I need to do before I do any smoothing or editing is I need to get rid of the blemishes. So I got some blemishes here. Get rid of that one, that's from my psoriasis. I got one on my nose right here, that never goes away. Of course I got freckles, so I'm not gonna get rid of any of those, but I got some of these little hairs that are hanging on, they're a five o'clock shadow. We just get rid of some of these, just to clean up my face just a little bit, just to make it a little bit better, there we go. And I got this weird hair going on on my cheek there. So I'm gonna get rid of those blemishes first, that's gonna be the first thing that I do. Get rid of a couple of them here. All right, so now that I've done this, you can see this photo is very porous. My skin, you can see all the pores, all the things inside my skin. What I wanna do, I wanna smooth this photo out, smooth my face out quite a bit. So we're gonna do that today, and we're gonna start by first duplicating this layer. So you're gonna hit Command or Control J, it's gonna duplicate the layer. The next thing that I want you guys to do is hit Command or Control I. That's going to invert the layer. Now that we've got the layer inverted, we're gonna change our blending mode. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna hit vivid light. Whoops, vivid light, there we go. Now the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to to go over here to other underneath your filter. So you go filter, other, and then you're gonna hit high pass. This is actually gonna give us some really nice textures. You can do anywhere between two and about four. Look at that, I think I like less of the orange in there, so I'm probably gonna do right around 2.5 it looks like. I think that's pretty good there. You can't really see much of the orange. And then the next thing I need to do is hit filter again. I'm gonna to go to blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm gonna adjust this. So I can go from 0.1 up a little higher. I don't wanna show any of those skin pores. So I'm gonna go like point, there we go, 0.2. Now this can range depending on the photo. This can go all the way up to three or four, uh, but it just really depends on the photo that you're gonna use. So I'm gonna to go to 0.4 just for this image. I think it gives me a nice blur. Let me go a little bit less, 0.3. Man, I'm gonna probably just keep it all the way down. I think just 0.1 is gonna be fine for this image. And it'll vary, like I said, between photo to photo. So now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this layer, you're gonna hit Alt or Option. See this little, little button here? And then you're gonna actually hit the little mask. So we're gonna create a layer mask. Boom, this just added a layer mask on top of it. Next piece is you need to go over here to your pen tool or your brush tool, because we're gonna be using our brush. And you need to make sure that this is set to white. So your foreground color is white. If that's not white, then hit D on your keyboard, it will reset it. And then you need to go up here to your brushes and probably adjust your flow. You may have it at 100, you may have it at 90, you may have it at 50. I like to keep it for this tutorial specifically right around 80. And then if I click on that, I'm gonna drop the, the hardness down to probably about 50%. So this is another thing that's gonna be really helpful as well. And see, I've got a lot of these uh, blemishes gone, but there's still so quite a bit of work here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and we're gonna go ahead and start painting. So let's jump into this right here. Check this out. Whoa, see how that just blurred that? Just painting, painting right along these little skin textures, right along there. Now you wanna be careful, you wanna leave some texture, so I'm not gonna go really into my beard very much. If I do, make my brush way smaller, just kinda of come in here, just do some of these little fine details. Uh, but I wanna to try to make this look as natural as possible and not overly Photoshopped, so I'm gonna go in here, I got this nice little brush. And then what I wanna encourage you to do is try to stay away from below your eyes and getting really close below your eyes and also just above your eyes and your eyelids. So you wanna to try to stay away from those areas and not blur those out too much because it'll make the photo kind of look unrealistic. So I'm just gonna kind of keep it in here for now. You can see you're just keeping it kind of clean. And then I'm gonna come down on my nose and blur out all of that. That's pretty bad. Uh, there we go. Keep that clean. I'm gonna get rid of this. And then also underneath your nose, you wanna be really careful about how much you blur that because that can also make it look pretty bad. But I'm just gonna do some light blurring, just some light, light blurring here, okay? And then what I can do is I can actually uh, increase the, or decrease the opacity down to about 25. 
So when I do that here, I can lessen that without making it too bad. There we go. There we go. And let me go back up to 100 again. And I'll do the rest of my face. So you can see here, I got that. Got my cheek. Things are looking pretty nice. See, when you get, you got to be careful going underneath your eye like that. I didn't look, doesn't look too bad, so I'm going to keep it. But you got to be really careful when it comes to doing that. And you can see this. We're doing this in a matter of seconds. We've been doing this for less than a couple minutes. Whoops, for less than a couple minutes. So we want to be really careful about what we blur, what we don't blur. Um, this looks pretty good right here. I think I want to get just a little bit under here, just to give it a little bit of smooth. There we go. So you can see here, this is a big difference. Now if I make this bigger here, I can also go in here. There we go. Smooth this out underneath my lip. There we go. Make this a little smaller. Boom. Don't want to blur my lip. You want to stay away from things like that. Your eyelids, your lips. I think I just need to get a little bit more under here, a little bit more under here. It looks like I missed a spot. And then I can do the same thing under here. You can see here, this is looking pretty darn smooth. Let me just get a little under here. There we go. I think that's pretty good right there. I don't want to overdo it. Now you can see, if we zoom out a little bit, you can see the photo before and after. You can just click this layer. Look how much smoother that looks. A much smoother photo. I didn't blur my eyes. I didn't blur my eyebrows. I didn't blur my beard. I need a bad shave and oh man. But overall, this looks really, really good. I think this is a good example of how to smooth your skin. So now the next piece is going to be creating an action. You're probably going, okay, well, what step do we need to create an action? So what we need to do is we need to redo all of this all over again. So I'm going to go ahead and start from the beginning and show you how to create an action real quick. So you go to windows actions. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new action. See this right here. This is create a new action. We'll call this action skin smoothing. There we go. You can even set a custom function key. Now this is set to recording and when we're done, we can hit stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up layers and then I'm going to hit, let me see if I can pull this up and separate this. There we go. Actions. Okay. You can see here skin smoothing. So what we need to do, I'm going to hit command J and you remember all those same settings that I had before command I. Okay. I'm going to go to my blending mode, vivid light, just like we did before. Now that we've done vivid light, we're going to come up here to filter. We're going to go to other. We're going to go to high pass. Remember what we did here? It was about 2.5, I think, on the high pass. Again, you can adjust this a little bit more, a little bit less. I think I like that right there. 3.8, 3.5, somewhere right in that area. Let's just say 3.5 for the sake of this action. There we go. Now that we've done that, we're going to go filter again. We're going to go blur, Gaussian blur, if we remember that. And I had this set really, really low. I can adjust this if we need to, but I think that's too much texture. So I'm just going to go like point two, maybe. There we go. You hit there. Now that I've got all of those actions, the last thing, and I already, you know, you can't do that on the skin removal or the blemish removal, but this is all of the steps you need. So what you'll need to do now is just hit stop. And now you've got this saved as an action. So you can come in here at a later time and recreate this. So watch. If you want to do the skin smoothing, hit the play button and it just replicates it. See that? Boom. Now you can't record the skin smoothing. You're going to have to paint that by hand, but it's going to save you a lot of time to have to redo that every single time because you have all these default actions now. So now all I need to do is just to come in here and create the layer mask. So I'm going to go in here, hit alter option, create the layer mask, and then I can just start painting like I did before and coming in here and cleaning up my skin just like I did before. So that's my tutorial for you guys today. I hope this was super helpful. I want to see you guys use it on some of your images. If you do and you post it, you share it on social media, definitely tag me in it at Adrian Boisel. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Adrian Boisel. Keep looking up.